Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is my Shadowgate No Death Challenge. Time to show Skip Rogers how it's done. And speaking of Skip, I'm going to skip through all this. Some of you guys know I did an LP of this on both the S2K and Ron Moore channels. And after seeing Skip's tip video where he died in every room, I thought I'd show Skip how it's done. World Video Game Champion. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Plus, this is just another excuse to play this game. Love the soundtrack in this game. And also did videos of Deja Vu and Uninvited. A let's check out of Deja Vu on this channel and a full full LPs of Deja Vu and the uninvited the uninvited uninvited on the ST2K. Fun times. That's back in 2013. 2011 did LP of Shellgate on this ST2K. That was good times. Click the keyboard and open the door. This game exaggerates a lot of things. Part 1 of my Shellgate video inspired an inside joke between me and some friends of mine. No, when I get to that part, I'll explain it. Let me go in here. And I got the arrow. These look like torches, but they're not. It's a hidden switch. Or, I mean, hidden switch. It's a switch to a hidden room. Alright. Whoa! Wraith. Don't really do anything. Dispose of this thing quickly. Got the Cloak of Darkness. Alright. I don't like this track right here. This sounds... I don't know, like weird circus music or something. I'm not sure. Alright, so I learned a magic spell. Let's get per se. I made the rope magically stretch to the upper room. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not perfect either. I showcased all the deaths in my LP of Shadowgate. But I did that on purpose. Alright, so let's go back here. Do some more bat tracking, just like in Metroid. Here we go. This was one of the hardest games to me when I was a kid. I had to write letters to Nintendo asking for help. Oh boy. Better take the shield first. And most of the stuff in here I don't need. Well, I do, I do, but I don't. It depends. I'll let you know when I get to that point why I need most of these items, if not all of them. You cannot open that treasure chest. I asked Nintendo that and I said you cannot open it. Then again, I wouldn't waste my time in this room as hot as it is and the dragon looking at me in the background. Got the Techno Viking helmet. Don't like this track right here. Yeah, I said this game has a good soundtrack. It does, but some of it, some of the tracks I don't like, like this one right here, and then the track where your torch is about to go out, which is what I'm 
doing right now, I'm about to light it because I don't want to hear that track when, it, when your torch is about to go out. It's really annoying. Alright, this room right here. I'm going to open up this coffin. You, you only need to open up two coffins. In this room right here, we get the scepter. We're definitely gonna need that. And this, this right here, I get that bag or what the game calls it. When you click look and you look at it, it says it's a leather pouch, and it makes a big deal of it. It's a leather pouch, and so that became like an inside joke between me and my friends. They watched this bit, uh, not this video, the LP I did. And what I said, it's another pouch! And I make fun how the game just makes a big deal out of something so stupid. And it just became a kind of a silly inside joke where one of my friends actually made a t-shirt in reference to it. But anyway. Alright, so more backtracking. Alright. And for those of you who are not familiar with this game, no, I do not go up that, that snake bridge. It is a trap. Or at least I don't go up the bridge yet. I'll get back to that later. Let me go in this room right here. Love this track right here. Let me go in this door. No, don't open the wall. Open the door. Take these stones because I will need at least one of them. But um, yeah, I think I only need one of them. But just to be safe, I'm gonna take more. Jeez, take the stones out the ground. I hate this part. Sometimes you gotta be precise. The stones are so small. So you go in the hidden room right here, which is behind the waterfall. Barge. Another leather pouch. Open it up and collect the gems. So again, this is a video response to Skip Rogers' failed review. <laughs> Dying in every room. Come on. Who does that? Let's do it on purpose, of course. <clears throat> yeah, that's a trap door. So I'm going to be going down there and use the white gem right here to make the sphere appear. Back in this room. Drop the sphere in the water because it's cold, so I'll freeze it so I can safely go over there and get the key so I won't get eaten by the shark. Now I take it back because I am going to need it for a different room. Yeah, definitely don't open up that second coffin on the left because no, well, you won't die from opening the coffin but if you try to move past it after that you'll die because of the slime alright now that I got key number three we'll go through this door ah I forgot to put on the cloak I don't get it it's a hot room, and you want to put on something else, and it's supposed to cool you down? Shadowgate logic. Unless the cloak is magical and it's cold or something, I, I don't know what the heck. Anyway, who cares? Hurl the sphere in there to extinguish the fires, because if not, you open that door, then Bowser comes out and growls at you. Uh, troll. We got enough of those on YouTube. Use the Goldbrook Spear. And 
and he's down and out for now. Wow, oh, here's Sloth. Hey, you guys! Alright, well, here's something in my bucket list a gauntlet. Now, time to take this guy out. As soon as I light a torch, stop that music from playing. Oh, that's about to play. This track right here is epic. One of the best tracks in the game. Dun, dun, EC double. Dun, I fell. I'll try to be in sync with the music. Alright. Put the stone in the sling. And I love this part right here. As soon as you start twirling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. It takes over your body! You cry out, Death to the Philistine! And release a stone. Bullseye. Nice. Then you take the sword and cut off his head. Love the David and Goliath reference there. Lots of stuff to get in here. Open up the desk and get all the stuff. Get scrolls three and four. Because that's how I scroll. Alright, two new magic spells. Yeah, better take the map while well, I'll hear it from Skip Rogers. Put the red gem right there for a hidden room. I may not need these, but again, I may need them for the Sphinx. One more item to get before I leave. I think you can set the fireplace on fire, but you don't do anything. Unless it does, and I'm missing something, but if anybody knows something, let me know. I think you can just do it for whatever reason if you like to set fireplaces on fire. Alright, yeah, I definitely need the holy water. I don't need bottle four, dang it, why'd I take that for? May need the test tube. The hearse shoe is in hand. Yeah, it's time to get the flute, the Zelda flute. First, got put on the gauntlet because his water is acidic. And for those of you who don't know, that sound right there when you play the flute is part of the music in Deja Vu for the NES. Yes, I can. Alright, there we go. The ring is in hand. Should it be the ring is on finger? I fail. Well, this room rings a bell. When you first enter it, if you notice, right there, I just burned the rug. When you first enter the room, that hole is right there, but then it quickly disappears when you, when you fully transition to the room. I wonder if that's a glitch or they did that to kind of give you a clue. Hey, burn the rug and get a key. Seriously, how would who's, who would figure some of this stuff out without looking at players' guides and stuff? That's how I got to be good at this game is freaking writing letters to Nintendo. Because, man, this game was hard back then when you first played and tried to figure everything out. Alright, yes. 
one of my top favorite tracks in this game. Whoa. You're struck by lightning. You die. Don't take the pot of gold. It is a trap. Take the bag. I'll take the gold coins. I'm not sure if I need all of them. I know I'm, I need the big coin for sure. So I'm going to leave those other two there. I think I just need one gold coin. I don't even know if I need the gold coin. But anyway, I'm just being safe. I mean, I, I know how to beat this game, but at the same time, I forget a few things. Whoa. King Skeletor. Or King Spinal. What? I think I forgot what to do here. Oh, yes. A ring shape hole. Hmm, I wonder what should go in there. I wonder. Hmm. Wow. What? This song makes me happy right here. This this track makes me want to giddy up on a horse and go riding. I don't know. Just just gets you all giddy. Whoa! Well, I'm not gonna be stupid and jump into the lava like some video game champions would. And all the help I got in this game, this is actually something I figured out on my own when I was like 12, 13 years old, and I was very proud of that. I was like, huh, well, how can I get past this? And just looked up through the inventory, I'm like, man, what can I do? And it just dawned on me, how about put these glasses on, then read out the book that I can't read without glasses, I guess. And then, got the spell, and then, wow, I was like, real proud of myself that I figured that out on my own. Alright. Now I can cross the bridge into the next room. Okay, I haven't been in the Sphinx room yet, but that room gives you a clue how to do the switches right here. Let's see if I can remember. Huh? Oh. Jeez. Uh. Oh, wait, I got it. Right, middle, and then right again. There we go. <laughs> Scream! Alright, time to use another magic spell. Illuminati! Blinds those gargoyles temporarily. They can go into the room safely. Hmm. I... may need to backtrack. That's right, I do need to backtrack. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Finally, the Sphinx Room. I gotta answer a random riddle. Let's see what this is. Oh, I know this one. Come on. Uh. I think it's. Oh, yeah, it's Horseshoe. There we go, the Horseshoe. Look at the stairs right there. It shows the clues on how to use that switch from earlier. 
He can ask you any random question, which is why I picked up all those items that seem useless, because he might ask you a question where you gotta show one of those as the answer. I think when I first got to this Sphinx, I was like, man, how am I gonna answer the question? It says speak, but how do you answer his question? You can't type on here. Alright, I got the star. What? Oh, open map. That's weird. Open map. You don't open it, you move it out the way. But anyway, now I got the rod. This is another trap. I remember my Deja Vu LP on S2K. I shot that woman in the head when she was already knocked down on the ground. That was pretty cold blooded, but this one I don't have to feel bad about because it's a freaking wolf or fox, whatever the heck it is. Pwn that now. Time to do some more backtracking. Alright, now to get the Wand of Wonder. Alright, now, to backtrack in that room where... Hold on a second. Oh, no, not quite yet. Let's see. Got right, torch first. Now I'm going to go back to that room where those two bridges are. One with a sturdy bridge and the other with a snake bridge. Very important item I need to get in there. Actually, I haven't gotten in here yet. Hold on, there's something else I need to get in here. Just so I use the blue gem. Where I talk to the wizard from Solstice or whoever he is. Alright, get the second scroll. Yes, definitely need that spell. Alright, here we go. Now to consume bottle two. Where's it at? There we go. Alright, now I can safely go in that room. Oh, shoot. Snake! Snake! Oh, wait, it's just a statue. Alright, use the Wand of Wonder on the snake. Whoa, it's the Staff of Power. No, skip, it's the Staff of Ages. I have to call the staff of ECW. All right. Now let's go back to where I were. Uh, where I were. Where I were. Let's go back to where I was. Yeah, I were here. All right, back here again. And this troll is back. He's a fail troll. He's about to fail again as I use the... Humana spell. Alright, let's sneak past him again. I'll go back through here. Alright, time to use key six. Hardest spots to get through when I was a kid. And I think one of the letters I got back from the Nintendo Power said, Use the holy water. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's a hellhound, you think you use holy water, but in the inventory it says water, not holy water, but anyway. Unless you click look and then click on the water, it might tell you I forgot, but anyway, we got rid of him, got the the, the platinum horn. Now we gotta deal with this wyver wyvern, wyvern, whatever, however, you, however you pronounce it. J 
is use some star power here, and he's pwned. Got the talisman. I think if I have everything I need now, time to head to the Warlock Lord. I used it twice. Dang it, come on, there we go. Do I move down here? No. What? I'm gonna get down there, I forgot. If that said no, it probably would have killed me. You you fall to your death, and then there would be the end of the no death run. There we go, that's right. For some reason the Bitcoin will help me get down there. Yes I can. Huh? What? Oh. This is stupid, you gotta click on that. Really? Same thing, anyway. There's a beach inside this castle? That's weird. Whoa. Let's pay him the gold coin. He's gonna take us to where we need to go next. What? Oh. It's like the raft. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. I'm at the gates of hell. When I first got here when I was a kid, I didn't not realize that this was the second to the last room of the game. I was puzzled to figure out how to get through the door, and then here we are with the final showdown. Whoa. The, the behemoth. Okay, so I need to... What? Oh. I have the blade first. And again, I need help from Nintendo Power for this part too. Alright. Here we go. Oh. All right, no death challenge complete. Take that skip, you idiot. That's how you beat Shadowgate. Alright, so yeah, seriously, yeah, the end of my Shellgate No Death Run. Not really a challenge, but then again, this game was hard when I first played it. Once you learn everything, though, it's easy. So that is the end of Shadowgate No Death Challenge. If anybody else wants to try to do this challenge, go ahead. That'd be cool. And if you haven't seen it yet, again, check out Skip Rogers' two-part How to Win That Shadowgate, more like How to Fail. Anyway, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.